What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, hope you're all doing great and uh, welcome to a new video on, uh, on Ghana. Uh, Cover this yesterday, yesterday obviously it was very very bullish, uh, since then it has pulled back a little bit, uh, basically since I made the video, like after I published the video it dropped down, so I'm sorry, um, had nothing to do with me. But, um, but yeah, so right now the situation for Gala actually is pretty interesting, uh, because yes, it has lost some of its momentum. But as you can see, like it dropped down to this major support level right here at around 1.75 cents. And that ha has held up. So there is still a possibility that, that Gala will rally up higher. Uh, since it did not reach 2.1 cents and 2.15 cents, I would say that's that's still the price target. But after that, a lot is possible. And like after that, like like 2.3 is, is very close by. So so things like that are possible. But, um, but, uh, but, but we'll talk about the short term for now, all right? So that's what we'll do. So let's get right into it. Now, first of all, what we're seeing with Gala right now is that like the volume is still very high, um, but it has decreased quite significantly. And that's also what you can see right here. If you, if you take a look at the perpetual futures, like the open interest uh, and the volume peaked around this, th these times yesterday, the volume still kept growing until basically uh, the end of Thursday. And since then, the volume has decreased significantly and the open in, like the open interest still is pretty high compared to the open interest of, of the entire week um but it is not growing that much anymore and it, it has dropped down quite significantly from the top so that's a problem all right that means that gala has lost momentum and what gala needs at this moment is momentum all right so it's a little bit difficult to to, to say what's what's next for gala like purely technically i'd say it's still bullish all right, so purely technically, I would tell you that its, it's main resistance level right now is around 1.87 cents, so that it needs to break above that. And if it's able to break above that, it will rally up to 2.1 and 2.15. All right, so purely technically, I would say that's the most likely scenario. Then if we're talking about the open interest and the volume only, I would say it has lost momentum. It has gotten a bearish breakout it's more likely that it will fall back down towards 1.65 and then afterwards down to 1.55 cents. So we'll have to, like these are the two scenarios and we'll have to kind of make a decision which one of these is most likely. Uh, and personally, like it's hard to say, like, like the best thing you could do, um, which I cannot really do because in these videos you kind of expect me to tell you what is going to happen, all right? Well, in, in, in reality, nobody knows. Um, so I would say, like it depends a lot on bitcoin as well which isn't great i would say it's a little bit more likely that it will continue uh, going up um because like the open interest like the thing is like the open interest should start increasing again if the open interest starts increasing again so keep a keep an eye on that all right if you if you go to leviatus which is l a e v i t a s dot c h and if you go there and you go to the old layout and go to alt derivatives, perpetual swaps, and there you uh, and there you keep an eye on, on Gala. If that open interest starts increasing, it's 100% most likely that it will get that bullish breakout <coughs> and get up to 2.1. But if that doesn't happen, like if it doesn't regain that, that bullish uh, momentum, excuse me, then it's more likely it will fall. So it depends on that. I would say it's a little bit more likely because I, uh, because I expect a, a push up from, from Bitcoin that it will break above 1.87 uh, and rally up to 2.1 cents. But, um, but, but, it, but, but it's like it's close to 50-50. So it's hard to say. But those are my thoughts on Gala. I also have to cough a lot, which you can probably already see by me. Uh, if you do have any questions, let me know. I also have my own premium trading group in which I share all of my own trades. Links for that will be down in the description. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.